Hello, good morning, everybody. First, I would like to thank the organizer for the opportunity to present uh, our project here. And uh, as the subject says, it's the first Polish service station, and there we'll, he we'll hear a lot of first things to be done in Poland regarding the, the hydrogen. As I see some familiar faces, but also some uh, newcomers, I will start with a short presentation about our company. Then, of course, I will describe the, uh, our pure H2 project. And finally, I will say the way how Polish is preparing to hydrogen economy in the future and how and so initiative has been already implemented. So, uh, Grupa Lotos is the Polish oil integrated company. Uh, you, what does it mean? It is a company involved in uh, crude exploration and production, refining, and uh, downstream activities to supply the fuels to the petroleum. The company was created nearly 45 years ago. And uh, from the time since very simple refinery, we have been converted into more modern complex refinery with uh, several activity. Our capacity is around 10.5 million tons. For others, uh, units at uh, 200 barrels uh, per day. And uh, we are involved in, as I said, in the production of fuels and chemicals, uh, providing the logistic services as well. We want to be a leader in innovative technologies in Poland. Uh, we are around 5,000 employees with a turnover around uh, 7.1 billion euros uh, with a profit 400 billion euros. Uh, our market share is about 32%. Uh, we are the second largest refinery in Poland. As I said, we are integrated oil company, so it means that we are involved in exploration. We have our concession onshore and offshore on the North Sea and as well in the Lithuania region where we extract crude oil uh, through our subsidiaries. Our target is to have a one, set, one fourth of our capacity to be covered by our own production. Of course, taking all the situation card, we can say we are a small shell company in Poland. What's more important, we are listed on the Warsaw Stock Exchange since 2005. Uh, it means that we are open to the public, many information and so on has to be published and we follow the rules of the stock exchange listed company. Uh, we are owned by state companies, so even being listed on the Warsaw Stock Exchange, we are government control company. In recent years, maybe some of you have heard about that, uh, our second company, Pika and Orlen, has announced uh, their willingness and activity to buy shares from the government and the merger process under the way. But anyway, this merger process up to now has not influenced our strategy. Uh, and the strategy set up in 2017 uh, includes several innovations or different solutions, uh, different from our current activities. The main of them is uh, implementing and producing the biofuels by uh, different advanced biofuels, by uh, new cogeneration technology of waste oils, but as well, we want to introduce CNG and, and, and LNG on our service station. And that comes the first, first, first. A uh, few, few weeks ago, we uh, bunkered the ship with the LNG as a bunkering LNG activity. And of course, there is immobility e going around, so we cannot stay behind this, and we introduce uh, e uh, electrical charging station on our service station. Even so early as 2017, we introduced hydrogen to our strategy, strategy and want to follow this route. As I said, uh, we have integrated immobility e in our business, and uh, several months ago, we opened several charging points along with our service station. So now, uh, coming from Gdańsk till 
Warsaw, anyone with electrical vehicle can easily charge their electrical cars. Of course, uh, along with the strategy, there is a strategy to create a lot of energy hub. It means that on each or nearly on each company owned service station, there will be possibility to fill up tanks with the traditional fuels, but as well as LPG, CNG, LNG, and finally hydrogen. So that's the way how we come to the hydrogen. Of course, hydrogen is not a new product for us. Uh, hydrogen is the basic material for crude processing. And uh, for this, we have uh, four uh, steam methane reforming units uh, with the current capacity around 15.5 tons of hydrogen per hour. Uh, very soon, we will open the new hydrogen recovery station when uh, units where we will recover uh, wa waste hydrogen from waste of gases. Of course, you can easily understand that there is some surplus capacity of hydrogen available for other application, but this is not uh, fuel cell quality. So what we have to do, we have to purify it, and that's the way how we come to our project. Our project is called Pure H2 and uh, consists of the cleaning, distribution, refueling activities. So what is this? It is the first investment decision in Poland to introduce hydrogen for sale for transport reasons. The first, hard, first hydrogen purification installation. The first hydrogen refueling station to be built in Warsaw and the first hydrogen transport corridor from Warsaw to Gdańsk. On top of that, uh, I cannot say the project is under the way, but we are analyzing the possibility to build also the first shunting locomotive to be powered by hydrogen. Last year, we applied to uh, um, CF, CF transport sector for co-founding of our activity. And in December last year, during the COP24, we signed a contract with INEA for co-financing of our project. The co-financing will take about 20% uh, of the project budget. And mainly will consist of uh, three main elements, hydrogen purification installation, hydrogen distribution and refueling station in Gdańsk and refueling station in Warsaw. The project is led by Grupa Lotos, but we have created a consortium with our subsidy, Grupa, Lot Grupa Pal Lotos Paliva, responsible for service station. And how the concepts look like? Uh, please look at this uh, scheme as a very preliminary concept. That's how we see it and uh, we want to invite uh, contractors to develop with us detailed solution for this project. Hydrogen will come from our refinery hydrogen network at the pressure of uh, 25 bars with the quality 99.97% around. Uh, our intention is to design the purification plant with the capacity 160 kilograms per hour. All this installation will be built and installed within refinery fans. What it means that they has to be integrated with the refinery control system, uh, alarm system, and, and uh, as well piping and so other. And this is also the part of this project, but this part of this project will be managed by our company ourselves. As soon as we have a pure hydrogen, it will be supplied to distribution and refueling station next to the refinery fence. And this subject of this and goals of this distribution center had to have the possibility to load trailers. It is not decided yet 
So we show on the scheme that there are, or there should be a possibility to load 200 bars or 350 bars trailer, but this has to be developed along the project and to find the way how this distribution will be done finally. Besides that, on the refueling part, we want to have a possibility to refuel passenger cars as well as the buses with the capacity around three buses per hour or five passenger cars per hour. Regarding the next part of the project, it is the refueling station in Warsaw, in one of the existing refueling stations in Warsaw at Woposzańska Street. We want to add a dispenser and all installation needed to be able to fill up the hydrogen fueled cars. Over there, we want to also have two dispensers, one dispenser for personal car and one dispenser for, for buses. At this place, the foresting capacity is one bus or six passenger cars per hour. Of course, there is no car, <laughs> hydrogen car in Poland for the time being, but we hope that by initiating this project, we can really develop this market in Poland. How we are going to perform this task? Uh, by the end of this month, uh, sorry. By the end of this month, we are going to open the tender uh, for integrator, for a, one company who can perform uh, the EPC 10 key contract for all scope of the project, except to, it means, except the integration with the refining facilities from the construction point of view, and there will be a separate tender for a distribution for trailer. As I said before, it is not decided what kind of uh, distribution, what kind of trailer we are going to use, so that this, this tender will be open later on. Contract itself will be divided into two parts. The main part will be signed and managed by Group Alotos. And by the way, I want to say that there are members of, of our group. So if you have any question later on, we will stay here and you can, you can ask some questions. Uh, and the second part will be signed with the Lotos Paliva. The Lotos Paliva will be responsible for construction of the Wopuszańska service station. Uh, we hope that by the end of August, we conclude the negotiation with the contractor. So the contractor will have, we, we give a plenty of time. We foreseen 18 months uh, for, from the signing of the contract till the uh, ready for startup situation. Uh, why? Because I can say it is the first, again, the new first, first station, first hydrogen installation uh, in Poland, and we expect that there will be some need, more time needed to discuss with the authorities. At the, finally, the station has to be in operation by March 21st. We are well aware that the building a service station is not everything what we have to do. So in parallel, we begin the process to create the market or to really attract the potential customers for this. Up to now, we have signed two letters of intent with the uh, public transport company within vicinity of Gdańsk, with the municipality of Gdynia and the uh, public transport company in Wejherowo. We are engage in the discussion with the transport company from Gdańsk. We also hope that some activities like ships uh, and uh, forklifts in the uh, Gdynia activities can be also very, uh, can be easily fueled by hydrogen. We hope that the chosen contractor, contractor will contribute to this project his knowledge and skills and we will be able to deliver even before the Forestin deadline. That's about the project and company. Now, how the Poland looks like. 
I am very sorry to say that up to now there is no national hydrogen uh, association like in many other countries, that there is no such a company, such excellent company like NOW. So what we did in uh, September 2017, we established the hydrogen cluster. And this is the aim of this cluster is to concentrate the company. We have a very big and responsible partner. We have the Polish oil and gas company as the main industrial partner in this cluster to develop the hydrogen let's say, activity in Poland. And we have, of course, municipalities, inge uh, engineering companies and others. Last year, we organized the first hydrogen conference in Poland. And now I would also inform you that on the 2nd of, uh, 1st of October, we will have the second hydrogen conference in Poland. And there is a call for potential speakers. And uh, if anybody would like to give a presentation, please contact me later, later on. What it means, it means that hydrogen economy, economy is going in gaining momentum in Poland. And that's true. Ministry of Energy established the working group to develop and prepare the strategy for hydrogen industry in Poland. Grupa Lotos is a member of this group and we are going to develop this further on. On top of that, there is a parliamentary commission which supervises and trying to push all the activities around. And on uh, March 5th, there was a third parliamentary meeting regarding the hydrogen where our president explain our strategy to this market. So to conclude our, my presentation, you can find that there is a, uh, our website uh, information where tender will be announced. And anybody interested, please visit our website. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Marek Waltinovic. Well, well. Very interesting. Thank you very much. I think uh, it was a very insightful presentation for potential partners. Are there any questions from the audience right now? No? Can't believe. Okay, no questions? Well, then let me have the first one. What about the market in Poland? Can you maybe elaborate a little bit more about where is it going at the moment? As I said, that's our ambition, to be a leader in innovation and to be a leader. We start uh, to introduce the hydrogen, produce old, let's say, old-fashioned technology. It is not green hydrogen. We are well aware about that. Uh, but uh, it is also the possibility that we already have some excess of hydrogen. So only what we need is just to purify it and use it. As soon as the service station is available, as soon as this clean hydrogen is available, I hope that many customers will come. And as I said, there is this parallel activity to our project we want to develop. The place where the second service station to be put depends on our customers, but we are ready to supply it any part of Poland. Okay, thank you very much. Further questions from the audience by now? No? So what about, what's no? Okay. What about the capacity of the fuel station? Can you say something about that? Capacity is 160 uh, kilograms per hour. Uh, it is nothing regarding the market as it's all, but it's also very much regarding the Poland. Uh, there is no car in Poland. Uh, the, first, the first car uh, receives the authorization to be sold in Poland. Homologation, home organization was done by um, Toyota Mirai. Uh, but they inform us that the process of homologation took seven months. So there is a long way for many other car manufacturers to begin their work in Poland, uh, to be ready to offer the hydrogen fuel cells at the time when our service station is in operation. So it means by year 2021. Thank you very much. I wish you best of luck. Uh, they will be around for further questions after the presentation. And I hope to see you next year and hear all the news how it's going in Poland. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you. We do our best to be here. Thank you. <laughs>